Right. What we're going to do here is we're going to set this bead using ether. Okay. Um, you don't have an air source, you can't use the ratchet strap. So we're going to use some combustion all right, to set this bead. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this starter fluid, I'm going to drop this tire down and spray starter fluid inside of this, inside the rim underneath the tire. Okay. I'm going to leave myself a little tail and I'm going to go ahead and light it. What that's going to do is this starter fluid is going to combust, exploding, setting this bead on the rim. All right, I've already cleaned all the mud out. I've uh, I made sure it's good to go. I also removed the core. Okay, if you don't have an air source, this is the reason why you're doing this. You need to go ahead, remove this core, pull it out. So after that explosion, pressure is going to go ahead. There's going to be vacuum created. Pressure is going to suck air back in. Once it reaches equilibrium, I'm going to go ahead and plug it, put my core back in. It'll give me a couple psi, enough to get myself to wherever I need to go and fill it back up. You don't mind. new one. Alright, so what I need to do is I need to get ether down in there. So as that combusts, you're going to see it create a vacuum. There's your vacuum. Air is going to be drawn in via the valve stem. There's your vacuum. You got to wait for equilibrium. If I lit this thing on fire, all right, and nothing happens, I need to go ahead and do some force, create a little bit of air in there, to facilitate that. Facilitate that combustion, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and kick it. I'd give it a kick like that. I wouldn't kick the tire like that because it tends to shoot out in different directions. So if you need to give it a kick, straight down up on top. Hear that air being drawn in? Once that stops, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it. There you go, good to go. Always check the downside, beat set on both sides.